How to increase hitting velocity in two simple steps. Look at how much their hitting velocity improved after these following athletes learned how to engage their core and rotate their entire body while hitting. I just want you to hit three or four balls into the net like you normally do. Go for it. Awesome. Assistance training. Before, when you were just starting, a lot of you were standing there just throwing your arm at it, okay? And you can hit the ball that way, you can hit, you know, you can hit hard that way. If you want to hit harder, we want you to learn to use more of the muscles of your body. So we're actually, when we use your legs, you step and turn your hips, you're using your legs and your hip muscles. Now when your shoulder turns, you're using your core muscles, your arm muscles and your back muscles and your chest, you're using your whole body. It should feel much more athletic to you, you should be able to hit the ball a lot harder. Does that make sense? You've already got it, right? It's called a tag, so let's be aggressive with it. Right. Step, turn your hips, turn that dot as fast as you can towards Nicole. Hit the ball straight ahead. The band attached to the PowerCore 360 hip trainer helps the athlete shift her weight into the ball and then pulls and turns the back hip through the swing as she hits. This teaches each athlete the feel of properly sequenced body or hitting motion as they build the correct muscle memory. Resistance training. But now the band's resisting your hip instead of helping, it, helping your hip through. You're going to do the same thing. Take that dot on your hip, turn it as fast as you can over there, hold your finish. The band is now attached to the PowerCore 360 hip trainer. The athlete has to engage the correct muscles of her legs and hips as she performs the hitting motion. Short term, performing this hitting motion for a few minutes engages or turns on the specific hitting muscles of the legs and hips and immediately increases hip power and hitting velocity. Long term, training two to three times per week will strengthen these specific hitting muscles and will add increasing levels of hip strength and arm speed and ball velocity. All right, so you felt what it's like. We saw the numbers go up on everybody, right? By stepping and turning your hips and then actually making the muscles activating the muscles around your hips and pelvis using the resistance, your velocity went up, right? How hard you were hitting the ball went up. That was right now. We didn't make any stronger. All we did was turn on the muscles that you have the strength in right now. What do you suppose would happen if a couple, two or three times a week you actually strengthen those muscles, right? Well, when you put the band on like you did and you actually work on that, if you do three or four sets, five reps like you did, and do it two or three times a week, those muscles will get stronger. That's the next part of it is make those muscles stronger so it turns your body faster. Because you felt what it's like when the hips turn faster, what happened? Your arm came through faster. That's how you got more arm speed, more velocity. So as a collegiate coach, I'm gonna let you hold that. Okay. Tell us what you've seen today. Um, you've never seen it. You knew about it, but you never seen it. I knew about it, didn't see it, but what I saw was a really quick way for athletes to learn how to use their bodies. As coaches, we try to break things down so much, and a lot of times it depends on how well we explain it, <clears throat> how many reps they take, but this is a very natural way for them to see immediate results, and they start figuring out their bodies and how to use them within, you know, it was an hour session here, and right. I could see players of all ages, all skill levels, all physical ability, be able to figure out how do they use the different components of their body in a much better way, specifically right. for volleyball, and the numbers show it. As a coach, I'm watching this thinking, wow, this saves a lot of hours of frustration for the athlete, and you get result-based performance for a, a team and a coach. Right. Velocity-wise, because I wasn't watching the gun a lot, what, what did you see on average? How much of a mile per hour increase across all, all athletes? The average increase uh, ranged for anywhere from 13 to 16 okay. MPH, which okay. is pretty remarkable with each step. There was a, an increase, and in, in every athlete it was consistent across the board. Everybody got better with every step. Awesome.